This is just a short video to go through some of the basic setup on your new PayAs giving station. Um, we'll start off with just connecting the unit up to a power supply and then we'll get it switched on and connect to Wi-Fi, etc. Um, externally, you'll see that the unit has the sum operator exposed and you have a 10 inch touch screen. Uh, to access the device, there's a key on the top rear section um, and we'll need to open that to connect the power supply. So that's just done by turning the key and the unit itself is hinged. Now that you have the device open, you can connect the power supply through the slot on the rear. So just get the, the cable and pop the connection end through this little hole on the rear. There's a, also a hole on the bottom of the unit that you can use if you choose to connect your giving station to a wall or a plinth. Um, so if you just feed the cable on through and connect it to the corresponding hole on the back of your screen. There's a little cable clip here and um, you just want to open that and secure the cable down. Um, other things just to point out at this stage that there is a sticker on the inside which has a serial number on it. This correlates to your sum up reader um, and you may need that later on in the setup process. Um, the next thing to do is if you wish to is to connect the chain. The chain itself uh, can be connected through a number of holes but usually just one of these at the side. Again if you just take away the first ring um, and that can be passed through here and just connect that up. There'll also be on some other devices we have a Kensington lock slot and a few other connections so you may have something slightly different there but just for the basic security chain that's that's how we do it. Once you have the device plugged in uh, we can now go about switching it on. Um, that is done by pushing the small button which is beside the green dot um, do try to make sure that you're pushing the right button. There's a larger button to the side, which is actually a volume control. Um, some people make the mistake of pushing this. So make sure you're pushing the very small button beside the green dot. Um, if you hold that just for about two seconds, that usually switches the device on okay. Okay. Um, also worth noting while we have the device open, if you need to put a SIM card in, there's a little panel here which you can just put your fingernail under and open up um, there's two slots for some cards so you wish to install them and that little panel can be popped on again just like that when your device comes on for the first time you'll see that it's locked so if you just grab a little padlock on the bottom and pull up that will unlock the device um, the next thing you want to do is set up your Wi-Fi. This can be done in a number of ways, but the easiest way I find is to go to the top right hand corner and just pull down. You'll see then that some icons appear um, and the Wi-Fi one is in your top left hand corner. If you just hold that, you'll see a list of uh, Wi-Fi connections comes up um, and you just select the one that you, you wish uh, and put in the password. The next stage then is to set up your give a little software, uh, which again, there should be an icon at the bottom of your screen. If there's not, just go into the main app list and again, you'll see an icon there. So you just open that. You'll then be asked to log in with your sum up details. Okay, once you put in your details, just hit okay. Um, you'll get asked maybe some questions, do you want location services, etc. Um, just go ahead with all of those. Um, if you're asked to do an update, uh, I would recommend doing an update. When you log in for the first time into Give a Little, you may get asked to run some updates. Um, I would recommend doing these if you can. Um, it's also worth mentioning that on your initial setup, it's probably a good idea to use Wi-Fi, even if you plan to use your device with a SIM card in the church itself. Okay, to access the menus, you can pull to the side, uh, or you can also pull down. 
the first thing we're going to need to do is connect a terminal, which is this guy here. So there's a button that says connect terminal. If we just do that. see the number of terminals come up across the pick that's because there's a few in the room so just go back to what I mentioned earlier about the little serial number on the inside so if you go down there I can see that that ends in six eight nine and that's the first one that we can see there so we're okay and we can hit connect First time round, the device might run a few a few updates on the reader itself as well. So you can see there it's hit connected, hit next, um, and we're set up. Um, you now need to set up your campaigns. There, there is another video um, on our website on how to do that. But just to show you how that kind of works when it's switched on, if you tap campaigns, uh, we already have some set up. So let's go to church purple and you'll see the campaign is preset there and hit use as you'll see we are now on the main donation screen this screen will stay on indefinitely so you don't need to worry about it switching off after a few minutes or you know the, the device going to sleep um, if you want to make a donation very simple just tap one of the amounts and you'll see a picture of the, the reader comes up and it asks you to present your card to the reader at the top of the machine. Um, if you tap your card now, that will go ahead and take that donation. Uh, to cancel the donation, there's a little button on the right hand side of the sum up. If you just tap that, you'll see that the donation cancels. Okay, that's it for this setup guide. Um, any questions, uh, you can drop us an email. Thank you.